Hi, one hour smart home here, and today we're going to show you how to use the Wemo app, schedule a Wemo light switch, and use some of the other features in the Wemo smart app. So this will work for both Wemo light switches and Wemo plugs. Now, the first thing you can see is the main screen on the Wemo app once you have your light switch installed, and you can turn on or off the light switch right here with this button. Now, we're going to get into some more advanced stuff, so we're going to go click down here at the lower right-hand corner and click on Rules. Now, there's a couple different things that you can do. You can schedule, set an auto timer, or actually control what happens when you have a press of the Wemo light switch. Now, we're going to click on the Schedule tab here. Now, the easiest way to set up a schedule is just go ahead and click on the name of the light switch itself, which is the Wemo light switch. Now, you can have it scheduled to turn on or you can have it scheduled to turn off. But the very top option is what most people are going to use, which is on until time, which gives you a set time period that the light switch will go on. So we're going to go ahead and click that top option here, and then we're going to click it here. So if you wanted your light switch to go on every day, you've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you can select or unselect days down at the bottom. You would just leave it all green. Now, I want it to turn on at, let's say, 1.30 and turn off at 2 p.m., that will then automatically turn off like we've got here. And you can click on the time to adjust the time that we would want it to turn off. So we're just going to change it to 4.30. And you can see that it will turn on at 1.30 and off at 4.30 p.m. And once again, you can just adjust the days here by removing them or adding them as needed. Now, you can also enable a feature that will turn on a light or off a light at sunset. So you can just go ahead and click this. And I'm just going to say don't allow for now. But you would click over on this and then you can choose it to turn on at sunrise and you can choose it to turn off at sunset. So that is another option for you. So now we're just going to go ahead and click done and we're going to save this at what times we have. And you can give this a rule. So we're just going to call this uh, schedule one so that we have it in here. And then we're just going to go ahead and click save. And I click save up at the top to save this new timer rule. Now, once you've got that schedule enabled, it's going to show up in your enabled rules. Now, let's say we want to create a new schedule or timer. We go up here and click the plus symbol once again, and you can then choose an auto timer. And what we could have is a Wemo light switch that will automatically turn off after a certain amount of time. So if you're looking to save energy with your Wemo light switches, it's a good idea to just put this on default. You could do anything from an hour to 15 minutes and the light switch will automatically turn off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put one hour for mine and it says, when will it turn off all day daily? So a light switch won't remain long for then more than an hour. And I could change that down here if I wanted between certain times of day, but I'm not going to need to do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it as is. Now you could set it so that it will turn off at a longer time interval. You could just go to this custom and then choose a timer time. So you could have it for eight hours if you wanted to have a light switch turn off after a certain amount of time. So I'm going to go back to one hour and then you need to make sure that you actually select the light switch that you want this to be applicable to. So we're just going to click on Wemo light switch here and then I'm going to click save. And now it will save that timer rule. And now we have an auto timer. Well, it will turn off after a certain amount of time. Now we're going to go to the other rules that you can use. And there's a couple other options. You have a long press option. And really what happens is you can have it turn on or off. I don't really mess with this at all. But you could have a rule where if you hold the Wemo light switch down for two seconds. You can put it in away mode where it will randomly turn on and off your light switch uh, until you use it again. And what that is intended to do is let's say you're leaving for a long time. And if you want that light switch to make it appear like your home, you could do that because it will automatically turn on or off. Uh, but for most people, I'm going to say that it's probably not necessary here because you could just set a schedule to have your lights come on at a certain time. Or if you were away from your home, you could still control your Wemo device from your phone and turn it on whenever you want, uh, whenever you think about it. So I'm just going to go ahead and press cancel here and we can see our rules that we have set up on the Wemo device. Now I'm going to go back to devices tab and this is going to show up that Wemo light switch we have here. And I'm going to go ahead and click edit here. And now this will let us edit the settings for the Wemo light switch. So if you want to change the name of the light switch, you can do so. So I'm just going to change this here and we're going to call this study. Uh, and that is important 
if you are trying to use different names for Alexa or Google Home commands to control your light switches. You wanna have a specific name for the room or light switch you're trying to control. So editing that name on the Wemo light switch can be important. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this again, and I'm gonna click over here on this little menu tab. And this time we are going to change the picture. So if you wanted to have a specific picture for what that device is to make it easier to remember. If you have a whole set of Wemo light switches, you could maybe put a couch picture in there. You could take a picture of the specific room and it just helps you identify quicker which light switch is which if you're trying to control it from the app. So I'm not gonna do that. So this final option is the reset option. We're gonna go ahead and click this and let's say you're moving out of a house, you could clear all your personal info by clicking this top option. You can change your Wi-Fi network or you can factory restore the default setting. So you can do that through this screen. If you wanted to clear your personal info, uh, you would just go ahead and click confirm here and that's going to delete the info on the device. So I recommend that if you have this in a rental home or you're moving out of your house that you just sold, uh, that would be a good idea to do that. So thank you for watching this demo on the Wemo app. We hope you enjoyed a couple of the tips that we got in there in how to use your Wemo app and Wemo light switches on the Wemo smart app. So Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and click any of the links below if you want to support us. Thank you.